possibility that nothing created everything, which is what an atheist is. No. Do you believe something created everything? Yes. So you're not an atheist. You just don't know what it was that created everything. Is that right? I don't believe in the definition of God as defined by a religion. What was in the beginning? You want me to explain the Big Bang? Yeah, tell me what it was what it was caused by and what the Big Bang was made up of. Nobody knows. Yeah, well, it's a theory, but it basically is the rapid expansion of a highly dense nucleus of particles or mass. Where yes. do the particles come from? Where did the conscience, the human conscience, come from? The evolution of the human brain. Where did that come from? I mean, why is it that every human being in every society has a knowledge of right and wrong. They have a moral compass. Where did that come from? How did evolution do it? Why did evolution do it? When did evolution do it? Explain it to me, because I don't understand what you guys believe. So Gabriel, you think you're a good person? I try to be. How many lies have you told in your life? Many, you can't count them. Have you ever stolen something? No. Have you ever used God's name in vain? Yeah, all the time, probably last night. Jesus said if you look at a woman and lust for her, you commit adultery with her in your heart. Have you ever looked at a woman with lust? So Gabriel, I can see why you don't want to believe in God. I'm not judging you. You've just told me you're a lying, thieving, blasphemous, adulterer at heart. You've violated four of the Ten Commandments. You don't want to find God. Oh. By the definition of your Ten Commandments, I'm not a good person. That's right. But what if those Ten Commandments don't define if you're a good person? They do. You believe that they do. I well, don't believe Well, you believe they do. Is it wrong to lie? Not necessarily. Is it wrong to steal? Not necessarily. Is it wrong to rape women? Okay, yes. Is pedophilia wrong? Yes. Is adultery wrong? Yes, sure. So if you believe that you you've got an intuitive knowledge of right and wrong. You know what your conscience is? You know what the word conscience means? It means with knowledge. Con is with science of knowledge. You have an intuitive knowledge of right and wrong based on the Ten Commandments. But the Bible says you're in a state of enmity towards God. You don't want His moral law telling you what to do because it makes you feel guilty, and that's not a good feeling. No, it doesn't make me feel guilty at all. I'm not here to convince you God exists because I know you intuitively know God exists, but you deny it because of your sense of guilt, because it's moral responsibility. I'm here to show you of your terrible danger, that if you die in your sins, God's going to give you justice, whether you believe in Him or not. He gave you a conscience so you know right from wrong. You're without excuse. You've committed adultery in your heart. You're a liar, a thief by your own admission. You blaspheme the name of the God that lavished His goodness upon you. You're without excuse on judgment day. I'm saying, I don't want you to go to hell. It grieves my heart. God provided a savior so your sins can be washed away. That's why Jesus died on the cross. You and I broke God's law. Jesus paid the fine. That means God can legally dismiss your case, Gabriel. Every sin you've ever committed can be washed away in an instant. If he exists. But if he doesn't, what does this all have to do with what, 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 what that isn't this? my that isn't my problem because I know you know God exists because God gave you a conscience. No, you, don't, you don't know anything. Yes, about I, what I do. Know. No, Let don't. me tell you how I know. Gabriel, if a surgeon opens you up, he doesn't go searching for your spleen or your liver. He knows exactly where they're placed. Because we're all the same. We're the same physically and we're the same in our psyche or our soul. You have an intuitive knowledge of right and wrong. You've got a will to live, is and it, you've got a knowledge of God because ever God's given light to every when man. When a surgeon opens you up, he knows exactly where to find your heart. He knows exactly where to find your spleen. Does he know exactly where to find your soul? This UCLA professor didn't believe in the soul. I said one thing to him that changed his mind in a second. I said, do you know the word soul and the word life are synonymous in the Bible? He said, I believe in the soul then. Because you've got a life, it's what motivates your body, it's what looks out your eyes, it's what speaks from your mouth, it's what hears through your ears. Your soul is your life. So point it out. And Jesus said, watch the prophet, a man who begins the whole world and loses his own soul. Gabriel, please think about this. And then your name will mean something. You'll be a messenger from God, taking the gift of everlasting life to other human beings that are dying in 150,000 days. So please think about this. Will you at least do that? Thank you.